Okay, here is a quick video on how I cut up the artwork to use for my arcade cabinet. I'm using paint.net. A lot of people might use Photoshop. I don't have a license for Photoshop and paint.net does pretty much everything I need it to do so it's good enough for me. So as you can see I opened up an image of Frogger but obviously I don't want the entire image on my arcade cabinet I just really want the frog. So the first thing I can do is go up here to my tools and select the magic wand. The way, to, way the magic wand tool works is you click on an area or a color and it'll select everything of that color up until it reaches a border. Here you can see the tolerance is set too high and it's picking up a lot of the frog. So I have to crank that down a little bit. It gets more just the area that I want to delete. So I can start hitting delete. Select some more areas here. And delete. Yellow. Delete. And you can see that does a pretty good job. But if I zoom in, you can see a lot of artifacts that I didn't get around the edge of the frog. And that may seem insignificant, but once you uh, print it out, it'll be very noticeable. Uh, so you want to try to get rid of that. And the way you do that is come back over here to your tools, select your eraser tool, and pick a reasonable brush size. And you just take your zoom in a little bit on it so you get a nice comfortable feel. And you just run your eraser along the edge, trying to delete just the artifacts you don't want. Uh, and not destroy the actual image that you're wanting to keep. So this part can be pretty time consuming, especially when you consider you gotta go around the entire frog, around all edges, and do that. Um, so once you do that, you, s you can get rid of all the large chunks of stuff around the outer edges that you don't want, and then save it off so all that you're left for with is a frog and a transparent background. Be sure when you save it, you save it as in a format that supports transparency, like PNG or bitmap. Don't save it as a JPEG, or you'll end up with a white background instead of a transparent background, and you'll have to do the whole thing all over again. But do that for all the images you want to use, save them off, then you're ready to start putting them together.